Hi there. So this um, quick video is about you preparing for your driving test. Um, you've been learning for a while now, I reckon. It could be anything from two months up to two years, maybe longer than that. The, the important thing is you, you, you get into a stage now where you're feeling confident, you know what you're doing when you're driving, the people who've been supervising you, whether it be a, um, an instructor or a member of family, are saying to you, you're good enough for your test. All right, you book your test. You gotta start preparing for the test then, all right? It's, it's not just turn up on the day and take it in to see what happens. You prepare yourself for the test. You know, have a visit at the driving test center where, where it's gonna be. You know, don't have to drive inside. Most of the time you won't drive inside, you won't allow you. But you can park up around the corner, have a walk inside with your instructor. Have a look what it's like. You know, a bit of a, a layout of the area so that when you drive in, you're going to feel less nervous and you'll be surprised. The Either an hour before you get picked up for your, for your lesson, for your test, you'll be thinking about the, the layout of the area. So that'll help relax you. And if you do suffer from um, nerves, um, think about how you can control them nerves. You know, I put a little video at the top there for people who, who want to uh, look at the, how to control your nerves on driving tests. That, that, that should help you. Um, there's all sorts of ways. You know, some people use the, um, the herbal remedies. Some people use, like, um, eat a banana that helps calm you down, keep your strength up. There's all sorts of ways you can do. But going back to uh, well, whatever else you can do to prepare yourself, you can say to yourself, right, okay, then, well, I've got my test in this area. I'm going to start having lessons in that area, start to get used to the road layouts, because um, it'll be a sort of advantage if you know um, a, a layout of a road when you're driving down there, the tricky junction or the tricky roundabout, because I'm sure whatever... Um, whatever um, area you visit there's always a tricky little bit in that area where it would be a combination roundabout or a, a tricky crossroads or a dangerous hill start there'll be something in your area that's a little bit dodgy um, so it's it's important that you visit that area and get an idea for it and that way you're preparing for yourself the best you can because you're going to come back otherwise and the examiner's going to say to you unfortunately you've not passed it was that tricky hill start what you really need to do is get your instructor to take you there, have a good look at it and have a good go a couple of times because the rest of it is really good. You'd be well annoyed at yourself then. So visit the, the, the dangerous areas or the tricky areas and get, get used to them, get, get a, a good feel for what you're supposed to do because the rest of your driving should be good. Because if, uh, if, I, if, if I visited a, a different city and I don't know it, I could get caught out by a tricky area you know, and I'll, if I approach it, I'll be slowing down looking at it, but I'll start to think about it a lot, and I'm an experienced driver, so um, a learner who's taking the test, it's got to be on the ball. Another thing would be, why don't you ask your instructor to have um, a practice driving test or a mock driving test, put yourself under the situation on the test route and see how you handle it. I've, I've got a few links at the top of people who took mock driving tests to give you an idea what it looks like. That helps you because when you when the when the instructor says to you right start the car off you go it's a bit like having a proper driving test that one because you get the nerves going and you'd be surprised what will affect you on that you can learn from it and what I found with my pupils is when they've took mock driving tests they've made some silly mistakes on them but they've all learnt from them and they've all gained from the experience and it's helped them to prepare themselves for the driving test and the other thing would be obviously get a good night's sleep the night before there's no point in being up till two in the morning and when you get up next morning get something to eat bring a bottle of water along so that you don't feel thirsty so that you you're focused okay um i hope this has helped you to kind of think about how to prepare for your driving test um feel free to share the video and if you're new to my channel click the subscribe and um i'll look forward to seeing you on the next one take care and good luck with your driving test